art nerds, have you ever wondered about what gothic art is? We're here to tell you. Let us first be clear what we're not talking about here. It's not this, or this, or this. Sorry, goth rock fans and people who like heavy eyeliner. Gothic architecture first came into prominence in France around the early to mid 12th century, and it's mostly exemplified through large cathedrals. It features things such as um, stained glass windows, pointed arches, flying buttresses, elaborate rib vaulting, as well as asymmetrical designs and facades. Gothic architecture evolved from Romanesque architecture that was carried through the medieval ages. Romanesque architecture mostly featured rounded arches, small rounded mosaic windows, uh, heavy masonry, heavy ceilings as well as walls, and for the most part it had proportional symmetrical plans and facades. There is a common misconception that during the medieval ages and during the Gothic period people only built churches and cathedrals, which is obviously not true because they had to live somewhere. People also built houses and commercial spaces in similar styles, it's just that those weren't built as durable as cathedrals and those generally got rebuilt more often, whereas when it comes to a church or a cathedral, they're generally maintained very well. Various architectural features like flying buttresses, pointed arches, and ribbed vaulted ceilings allowed buildings to be built much taller uh, with thinner walls, as well as allowed uh, large stained glass windows to be installed. Now, why do they want to build super tall cathedrals with huge windows, you ask? This is mostly due to the fact that various French cities like Chartres, Rheims, and Amiens were competing to have the largest cathedral in the world at the time. So apparently the taller your building is, the higher you reach the heavens, and therefore you worship God the most. The term Gothic originates from the term Goths, which were what the Romans used to describe Germanic tribes in the medieval period. It basically means barbaric, which is how the Romans felt about Germanic tribes at the time, or anyone who's not Roman for that matter. The term Gothic architecture was first used actually in the 16th century by Italian scholars. And they actually used this term to describe architecture in the 12th century in a derogatory way because at the time they weren't very interested in this type of pointy, uh, elaborately designed architecture and they felt that it was kind of messy and barbaric. The tallest completed Gothic cathedral from the early Gothic period is the Amiens Cathedral in France. It's about 120 kilometers or 75 miles north of Paris. It was built from 1220 to 1270. It reaches an internal height of about 42.3 meters or 128 feet. Now Gothic art, specifically sculpture and painting, it refers to a broader period of artistic styles in Europe at around the same time, roughly 12th to 14th centuries. That includes secular as well as religious works. They mostly seem to show scenes and figures uh, in more fluid, naturalistic, narrative, and complex forms, as opposed to prior periods of relatively more simplistic and rigid compositions. Many Gothic artworks such as paintings and illustrations appear in altarpieces or illuminated manuscripts in these large Gothic cathedrals. Now, Gothic art gradually evolved into the Renaissance period with little to no distinct transition styles progressively became more three-dimensional and depth-driven, uh, although the precise scientific practice of perspective painting wouldn't be perfected in Europe until around the middle of the 16th century, uh, in the middle of the Renaissance. Now, the UK and its various colonial counterparts experienced a very prominent period of Gothic revival later in around the 18th and 19th centuries, especially after the rise of Romanticism, where people gained a new appreciation and longing for medieval decorative arts and architecture. And thus, many well-known buildings, such as the Palace at Westminster, the London Bridge, as well as the Parliament buildings in Canada, uh, in Ottawa, Ontario, uh, were built with with very distinctive uh, Gothic revival styles. Thanks for watching and please let us know if you have any cool and interesting facts about Gothic art and architecture and please leave us a comment if you have any suggestions on what we could do in a future episode and don't forget to subscribe! Mm -hmm.